Okay, so this is the first day with the new gimbal. Alex and I are going to meet Ted and Joe for lunch, and I'm going to test it out. It is here. The Zhuin Weeble S. And I am so stoked. I have such an awesome son. I would do a total unboxing of this for you. However, I had to take it out to charge batteries and I was gonna play with it. it this, this thing got here, today is Sunday. It got here yesterday at about seven or eight o'clock by uh, Amazon and immediately it was ripped out of the box batteries were charged and I took it out today to play with it and I'll show you some footage in just a minute but Alex got this for me for Christmas it's been something he's been saving up for for a while and as far as a material item as a Christmas present I think this is probably the greatest Christmas present I've ever gotten Thank you, kid. You're awesome. Oh, and by the way, welcome back to Mark's Tech Review. <laughs> I, I'm only doing that. That's for you, Joe. Um, in order for there to be a Mark's Tech Review, Mark would actually have to know a little something technical about the stuff he's showing you, and I do not. And that was clear today when I was playing with this thing. Now, this is my very first gimbal. I do have a Moza Air 2. Um, it's the only thing I ever bought on the app OfferUp that I was screwed on. So I, but I bought it for hundred bucks and then one of the motors is bad, so it didn't work. Anyway, we're gonna get into this today. This was probably, it's just awesome. It, it really is. And being my first gimbal, I have a lot to learn. Not only do I love it, but I am scared to death of it. And my camera, is not one of the cameras listed to go on this thing. So there's a little bit of finagling you gotta do because my camera's too light in the back. I wanna put a heavy lens on it, it falls forward. The quick release plate doesn't adjust enough for me to push weight to the back, which I think is kinda odd, but you know, whatever. I mean, I could put counterweights or something like that, but I didn't have to. I just had to take off the riser and basically set my lens on top of the quick release plate with the lens holder underneath it. And I wasn't planning on zooming with that lens anyway. If I wanna zoom, then I'll, uh, I'll set it up that way or maybe have to counterweight it but at the same time I'm I keep putting this box in front of the microphone and I go to edit this and I can't hear myself I'm gonna be really upset but at the same time I don't plan on using this camera that I have right now forever I mean I will always keep it it was my first camera and it'll always be a part of my collection but I do want to upgrade up and I can't afford the EOS R Canon Canon are you listening EOSR. Anyway, I can't even afford the 90D, so I'm looking to upgrade to an 80D. Who knows? Maybe my channel will balloon out of control this year and and um, I can get some monetization or something and buy a camera because when I finally get to that point, and who knows when that's going to be, anything that this channel generates as far as revenue will go into the channel. So, But anyway, um, let's get on with this. Here it is. The Zhiyun, or Zhuin, those are the only two pronunciation I've heard that come close to actually being what they're supposed to be. From what I understand, from Potato Jet, it's actually called Zhuin. So that's what I'm gonna say. The Zhuin Weeble S. Now I would love to show you 
the setup with my camera on it and how I did all the balancing and everything, but I have to use the camera to film the video. So sorry about that. Anyway, this is probably the coolest thing I've ever had. I know I've said it three times now, but it really is. And the fact that I can take this off, the little tripod that goes on the bottom of it, and I can put it right here. And with my camera on the gimbal, I can do underslung mode and put it down and film from low on the ground. And it has, I don't just have to use this. With the brand new tripod I got, I can screw that into the bottom and have two handles, or you can just use this handle. And even though it has all the buttons and stuff that I have pushed while I was trying to use the gimbal and, and set it all weird and wonky, you can lock those so that you can hold it and accidentally bump them without screwing up any of your settings and there's also mounting for the side here you can add you know extra extra uh like uh, attachments to put other grips on i could put another grip on i could put oh microphone i could put a monitor here they make grips that actually go on right here that'll come out with a grip and then you can put a tripod on the bottom so there's just a million things you can do with this and the footage you get with it is pretty amazing. Now, we went out today and we shot a little bit of footage and I was going to do some like comparison footage, but I'm tired. Um, it's been one of those weekends and I didn't feel like doing it. So the footage you're gonna see right now is there was footage and I know you've seen the footage of that I've always shot out the window when I'm driving somewhere and it's a little shaky and sometimes I had a bump and the camera jumps around. I've complained about it a million times. And then when I'm walking, I'm overweight. So when I walk with a bad knee, which will get better when I lose weight, but with a bad knee, the, the video is always doing this when I walk. So the footage you're about to see is Alex holding the gimbal while we're driving down Lake Mead because today we wanted to go meet Ted and Joe for lunch at uh, Famous Dave's on the other side of town. And then the footage you're gonna see right now is me walking into Famous Dave's and you can see how much smoother it is as I head in towards the doors. And right about now, I'm gonna show you the footage of all of us getting up from the table and walking out and the underslung mode where I put the gimbal down on the ground or close to the ground and follow Ted as he's walking out the door and then slowly bring it up, which I believe is, uh, uh, I don't want to say it's a dolly shot. Maybe it is a dolly shot. I don't remember what it is. But anyway, I, I come up behind Ted with the camera before I get to the washed out footage. Now, all the footage that was shot today was shot on automatic because I was learning how to play with the gimbal. Alex was learning how to play with the gimbal. And I didn't want to deal with camera settings and all that stuff while I was screwing around with the gimbal. It's funny because as I talk to you, I'm watching Ted right now and Jake Mogstad is standing behind him. Both great YouTubers and you should be following them. Their links are in my description. Um, you should have followed them a long time ago. Any case, this was an amazing gift. It is something for me to step up my game in shooting videos. And if you're a YouTuber and you can afford one of these, I suggest you get one. This is, this is a badass little toy, man. I just, <laughs> you have no idea. Anyway. Thanks for watching this, I don't know, five, six minute video. If it's even that long, make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell notification so you know next time I upload a video, throw me a like, people. It doesn't hurt, throw a like. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. I'll see you next time on Mark's Tech Review.